happy Tuesday. Jess is really happy. Why, Jess? I have no pants. <laughs> Today is Bye Bye Boys Day. They uh, they are getting evicted from my breeding pens today. They've been in there for 34 days. So today is the last kick at the can, shall we say? Okay, I've got everything set up. So the ewes, I'm gonna separate the, the rams from the ewes. The rams are gonna go back in their pen and the ewes are gonna come out the sorting gate. I'm gonna put the ewes out this way, the rams out that way. And the ewes will come out here and they'll just stay in the center alley for a second until I can clear that center pen out and then I'll throw them in that center pen. And there's three groups, so this group, there's a group in there, and then there's a group at the back. <laughs> Loving it?
was a big group. What do you think of that job? Not bad, bad. <laughs> better than weaning. Better than weaning. Everything's better than weaning. So everything's done. The, the rams are all together in a pen. I do have some younger rams in here, so I'm gonna, ha I'm gonna have to watch just to make sure they don't get beat up or last to the bunk and you know, all the, all the drill. Uh, just getting bullied by the big boys. All the ewe lambs are in their own pen now, so they're over here. And then the mature ewes are in the second pen. So it works out really good, the configuration now. It actually works out a little better for numbers. And bunk space. Now we're just cleaning up. We spend more time cleaning up and setting up and tearing down all this stuff than we actually do doing the job, which is fine. That's the whole point. Uh, the quicker you can get these jobs done, the less stressful they are to do. Look who showed up. It's my CFO. Say hi to the people. What? What? Oh, you want to go see him? Okay, let's go. Oh, he's, he's a pudding. He's like, come and say hi, hi to me. He'll just let you snuggle right up to him. Oh, as, I guess as she will. They're hungry. <laughs> they love you when they're hungry. He's so sweet. He's, uh, he'll just lay in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. It's Billy the kid. Billy the kid. We got lots of Billies. It's so warm. I know. Are you warm? No. He's shy. He thinks it's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> so jealous, I, I know. Mind. It just like falls asleep in your arms. Oh my God. And that's mommy right there beside him. Yep. 
They're very nice too. That's mommy. She loves Kinsey. <laughs> <laughs> I know. It's crazy. I've never had a sheep like that. Not like that. Her dad, his dad's like that. <laughs> You want to be petted. Oh, just loves it. I created a monster. You are a doll. Oh. You're a doll. Oh. She, he loves you. She just loves people. Probably because I sound like you. I think so. All right, work. I've got a couple minutes this afternoon and there's a few pens that I need to just space out a little bit more. So this pen that I put the mature use in this morning here, it's just a little bit tight right at feeding time. Now, as you can see, there's a ton of feed still. So it's not like they don't have all day to eat it and to find a place in the bunk. But the problem is a ewe, if they're fighting for space, they get really aggressive right at feeding time because they think it's their last supper. They always think it's their last supper. So I have to always make sure when you're actually doing the, the physical feeding, they have to, every you has to have a chance to eat. And I never really can judge until I, until I see them eating for the first time. So this morning, I found they're a bit squished. There's three or four that were kind of pushed back out and then they start to paw and, and uh, not be very nice. They're, they, they bully quite a bit. This pen here has a ton of room. So what I might do is just put up the water gate and give these guys a little more room because that pen is quite a bit smaller and they're not pregnant. Uh, they don't need enough, they don't need near as much room as these guys because they could be potentially pregnant. And they're at that early development stage where I don't want those embryos or placenta to not attach because they're being rough or stressed out. So this is a very critical actual point of their pregnancy too that I just don't want to take for granted. Sometimes you pull out the rams and you think your work is done. And it's not, this is a pretty critical time for them. Good. So they have oodles of room. Now I'm gonna open these guys up. Good. Another job off the list. So here's the ladies. I'm really hoping the uh, conception was decent. I do see quite a bit of paint on some of them still. I have a kind of a bad feeling, especially in the mature use. We'll go over there in a sec. I'm just not crazy about how much paint is left on their bums, and I was hoping it would be smeared off. Hi. The boys are doing okay. They are still on a flush ration for a little bit. I will probably gradually put them onto a dry ration, but some of them actually look like they lost some condition. I've got a couple Rito rams. I'm trying to figure out which one it is. This one, I think. This one looks like maybe it's lost a little condition. And then I do have these little ram lambs that I probably really do have to watch too. So it's probably not a bad thing they're on this flush for a bit just to make sure everybody uh, gets back up to snuff after they've been breeding. They've been breeding for a month, so it probably won't hurt just to... And it's gonna get cold this weekend again, so I'll probably just keep it as is for a bit. Okay, here's that pen with all the green paint. So I was hoping this would be smeared off a lot more than it is. And I did add a couple suffix in the group just to clean it up a bit, but I'm wondering if it was a bit too late or maybe they were bred. I don't know. What do you guys think? What's your guess? Do you think this pen is, is gonna be a disappointment? Like, look at the green on her. Eeks, and her, and her. Oh, and this one, oh my goodness. Now I'm really stressing out. A January breed, natural on mature use, should not be, that should not be what happens. So I guess we wait and see. That's why I scan. 
just did chores across the road before she went to school and she was just saying that, she goes, something smells funny. I'm like, well, what are you doing? And she said, she turned on the proportioner and I said, is the belt humming? It sounds like there's some humming. And she's like, yeah, but I shut it off. I'm like, unplug it. Uh, so something's going on. I think probably the auger's plugged, if I have my guess. And then the belt's trying to run and nothing's happening. So I'm going to run over there and see if my belt is burnt. Or maybe there was a bird nest in it. Come on. Let's go. What are you eating? What are you eating? Come on. Let's go. I think she found a hoof trimming pile. I'm in the other barn and uh, I have a funny feeling. Yeah, this is just plugged. So let's see what's going on in here. Yeah, it's right plugged. So likely the limit switch, which is down in this area, has got feed plugged up behind it. All right, it's right full. <clears throat> I might just turn this on. So this side goes down a lot slower because it's like only 20% pellet and 80% corn. So that's why it's taking forever to kind of go down. Put some light on it. So what happens is I think the feed gets back in here and there's a switch here and it gets in behind it and then it doesn't, I think it just didn't, I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna empty it out and start again. Okay, I'm gonna plug it in because it's empty now. Let's see what's going on. Yeah, the belt's slipping. Okay. I'm gonna run this belt by hand because something's going on. I don't know if it's plugged for too long. There it is. When I press it manually, it, it shut it off at first, but my hand was still on it and it tried to run again. So there's something going on, whether there's a short or something, there's something in that limit switch. So I'm gonna text my, the guy that sold me this and get him to look at this, I have to get it fixed. I wish I could fix it. On another note, the little wiener lambs are, they were weaned a week ago yesterday and they are doing well on the water they're running hi <laughs> and i did open this whole pen up i can't remember if i told you guys this or not i opened this all up friday and uh moved the other ones over to this side and they seem to be doing really well too 
So these guys have been weaned for two weeks. A few people have asked me at what age do I wean my uh, lambs at and they, they get weaned at eight weeks. So these guys were eight weeks a couple weeks ago on this side and these guys were eight weeks uh, a week ago yesterday. And then that next group I might have to wean a little bit early uh, just because it was more of like a two week spread that group. So I'm probably going to err on, they're probably going to be, some Some are probably going to be seven weeks and some are going to be eight weeks, but I'm just going to go, the pen is getting too deep, uh, the lambs are on the creep hard, which means they're not, they're not relying on mom fully for milk, which uh, is just a good sign, it just means it's time. I like it when the lambs tell me, I don't have to like initiate, so it makes the decision making a lot easier. So eight weeks is the goal for those of you who have been asking. He thinks he's a king. And my bottle baby. Always a bottle baby, aren't ya? Hi. Oh, hi, sweetie. Oh, you are coming up. Hi. I didn't think you were as nice. Of course you are. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Maybe you're just jealous. You like to be the king. I texted the guys that put in my proportioner and they just showed up like literally half an hour after I texted them. Uh, and sure enough, the limit switch was pooched. He put in another one, it's pooched. So I'm not sure what's going on. He's gonna come back either tomorrow or the next day and try and get it working. I told him those feeders are full enough to probably last me a couple days. That's a good thing about those feeders, those self feeders. But now I'm behind and I have to bed that lamb pen. And they think they're getting fed again. Uh. Uh. 